So what we found is the same star blowing up four different times. And the way we've seen this is that uh, a foreground galaxy, actually a massive cluster of galaxies, has acted like a magnifying lens, creating four different images of the same exploding object. The exploding object, we think, is a special type of exploding star called a Type 1a supernova. And these are famous for Brian Schmidt's discovery of the accelerating universe. And we can use these to measure the properties of the universe. So if you imagine uh, you have a train, well, you actually have four trains, and they leave, and they leave at the same time, but some goes over hills, some goes through the valleys or around a mountain. So they're taking different paths to get to the same destination. This is quite a unique object because we're able to understand and study three entirely different huge questions all with the same set. We can figure out and test what dark matter is and how it behaves, what dark energy is, the stuff that's causing the universe to accelerate, uh, and actually the properties of gravity itself. Through our models, we actually know that this should have appeared 15 years ago, which we'll never see because we missed it, but it will actually occur in one to four years. So if we look at the same rough area, we'll get four more of the same star blowing up. So we know it's going to be one of the most distant objects ever discovered, but it's so far away that one night, so one whole night staring at the same object on the largest telescope in the world right now didn't actually even detect it. Luckily, we have the Hubble Space Telescope, which is a powerful telescope, using a galaxy cluster to do this magnification. Really, maybe the next generation of telescopes, like the Giant Magellan Telescope, will be able to see this. This discovery was entirely by accident. So astronomers have spent decades of effort trying to find one of these objects. And so far, no luck. And for an entirely different project, Pat Kelly, who was the lead author of this discovery, uh, was looking through a set of images that were just recently taken with the Hubble Space Telescope and, and found this really weird thing and said, well, what's this? And after a little bit closer examination, realized this was the, the thing that astronomers have been spending sometimes their whole careers trying to find, and we just found it by accident.